now the implication of the net zero, uh, the net zero, uh, you know, scam. Uh, so uh, as part of the net zero, uh, the UN uh, plus, uh, I, I guess, activists have have uh, been uh, uh, engaged in trying to get the insurance business, the insurance companies, to participate, basically not to insure fossil fuel projects, uh, you know, and basically to raise rates on uh, uh, using climate science, science in quotes, um, uh, to start pricing in the, the most dramatic and most fearful uh, effects of this. And, and, but they know they, they can't actually achieve this if they don't get all the insurance companies on board, because if some insurance companies sit it out and they underprice everybody else because they're not too worried about catastrophic, uh, you know, uh, uh, weather and catastrophic events con caused by climate change, then they can't get the effect. The only way they can get the effect, the only way they can get the effect of insurance companies raising the cost for all of us, unless we play by their game is to get all insurance companies to do it at the same time. And that's what they've tried to do. They've created a net zero insurance alliance, NZIA. And they put massive pressure on insurance companies, as have governments and uh, uh, pressure groups. Uh, and uh, NZIA, they, they put a huge amount of pressure on them to join this alliance. And indeed, a significant number of the large insurance companies in the world are now, have now uh, were a part of the NZIA. And a lot of um, anti, well, you know, a lot of uh, people on the right or the people in the free market or people who are generally more sane with regards to climate change have lobbied against this and tried in various ways to consider insu convince insurance companies not to do it. But insurance companies are not listening uh, to a large extent because insurance companies are getting the direction of the culture. The direction of the culture is to take climate change more and more and more seriously and they better get on board. Then the uh, opponents of this Net Zero Insurance Alliance figured out how to really how to how to how to use the system against the Net Zero crowd. And what they started accusing the Net Zero Insurance Alliance of is antitrust. This is a cartel. This is a price fixing scheme. This is a attack on competition. And, uh, uh, you know, they're starting to threaten and, and, and to threaten lawsuits around antitrust, using antitrust to, to force them to break up. And as a consequence of these threats, threats that have come from a variety of different think tanks and groups, but also from the anti-ESG kind of uh, 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 people and, 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 and some states now are starting to look at this issue of antitrust. What has actually happened is that insurance companies are leaving this association very, very quickly. Lloyd's of London is the latest insurance company, insurance entity to leave this affiliate association, and they're running from it, right? They're running from it because they're afraid of being sued for antitrust. So here's a case where using an what I consider an irrational law, an immoral law, maybe one of the most immoral laws out there. Um, but to achieve a, uh, using it is actually achieving a positive effect, and that is uh, getting these insurance companies to leave this alliance and therefore to actually compete uh, around this issue of climate change so, um, and how to price it. So it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see what happens with this, where the governments get together and give them an exclusion from antitrust law, if if they participate because it's for a good cause, uh, but this is kind of the this is the direction uh, I think many people are going, and that is to use mark market in quotes, market pricing, market in quotes forces to destroy markets, aviation, insurance, or to manipulate human behavior raising costs in order to achieve climate goals, right? Use of market processes to achieve uh, climate goals by raising prices like in aviation or, um, you know, basically uh, getting 
guilting all these companies into an alliance uh, where they work together in a cartel-like in order to raise prices on projects that are deemed, or to eliminate uh, insurance on projects that are deemed um, anti anti uh, net zero. Climate change is, you know, it's 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 insidious. It's uh, you know the hysteria, the panic. We'll get to another hysteria and panic in a minute. Uh, it, it is. Um, and it, is, it has massive, unbelievable consequences to human life. Uh, and it's, it's going to make our lives so much more expensive. It's going to lower the quality and standard of our life so much. The panic and hysteria. When what we should be doing is investing heavily in cheaper and cheaper energy. So that we can become rich so that we can deal with, we can become richer and richer and richer, so that we can deal with whatever climate ultimately throws at us. And who knows what that will be. So even if you don't dispute the science, the solution is not to make energy expensive. The solution is not to lower standard of living quality of life. The solution is to make energy cheap, to raise standard of living, raise quality of life, so that we become so rich that we can easily deal with whatever ultimately happens with climate change, however the climate ultimately change, ice age or, or floods or heating or hurricanes or whatever. We can deal with it. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content. And of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.